One of the biggest challenges that I've seen, especially working with individuals with autism, is that there's a lot of what we call diagnostic overshadowing, right? They are often overlooked um, when it comes to, say, anxiety or depression. People often blame their diagnoses, okay? Oh, they just have IDD. They're not sad, they're not depressed, they just, that's their ID, that's their autism. That's just one part of it. But really, as a greater whole, the challenge that I see is that they aren't treated with respect. They aren't treated as someone who has desires and challenges and needs. Oftentimes, that's just, that's, that's wrong and it's unfair. One thing working at the Harris Center that I get to help fight and combat some of that. I wanna change the public's perception. Don't be ableist, like <laughs> see them, listen to them, hear them. If we as a society could be a little bit more patient, if we could be a little bit more tolerant, then they could have a place too. And they deserve that. I think everybody deserves that, right? Especially them.